Frank Reagan, the patriarch of the family and self-declared captain of the ship, is exactly what a New York City police commissioner should be, disciplined and astute. Frank has seen a lot of drama as Blue Blood's lead character since the show's debut in 2010. Today, we will be discussing Frank Reagan's seven best and seven worst moments from Blue Bloods. Best Frank's Wedding Toast Season 9, Episode 22 Fans have been waiting for this union, but not just Jamie, Will Estes, and Eddie, Vanessa Ray, stole the show on the big day. In the Season 9 conclusion, Something Blue, Frank charmed his family and spectators by giving an inspirational wedding speech. Throughout the series, the trio has experienced its share of highs and lows, with Frank frequently at odds with Jamie and Eddie due to their small-minded actions. With the opening of his speech making light fun of Jamie entering the Reagan family, Frank's opinion of Jamie is evidently improving by the end of Season 9. Worst, Frank loses his cool mid-interview, Season 5, Episode 7. In the Season 5 episode, Shoot the Messenger, Frank pays a visit to the CBS studio and viewers then witness him at his worst. Frank is abruptly taken aback by Robert McCoy, who informs him that the DA would no longer pursue minor offenses, including marijuana-related crimes. In the middle of the interview, Frank explodes into a frenzy when confronted with new information rather than processing it calmly. Later, Garrett Moore takes the brunt of Frank's rage. Given his illustrious past as a senior police officer, we would anticipate that Frank could carry himself professionally in front of a crowd. But when he finds out that McCoy and Aaron Reagan are dating, things only become worse. Best, Frank Stands by Sarah, Season 5, Episode 18. Frank has a more wholesome storyline in Season 5's Bad Company. At the same time, Jamie and Eddie deal with a life-or-death takedown at a fake youth hostel. This time, Sarah Grant, who is getting married, begs Frank to accompany her down the aisle. Fans may not have anticipated this heartwarming response, but Frank gains their emotional admiration immediately. The tragic history of Sarah includes the murder of her entire family when she was seven years old. When Sarah confronts the person who killed her family, Frank, who served as the cop in that case, again stands by her side. Worst, Frank's pride gets the best of him, Season 10, Episode 2. Fans frequently witness fights between Frank and Aaron, but Naughty or Nice from Season 10 ups the ante significantly. Frank gets upset when he hears that the district attorney maintains a list of police officers deemed incompetent to testify. He approaches the decision with good intentions, considering it a blacklist, but handles it poorly. Fans find it difficult to support his channeling this rage, which primarily falls on Aaron. Aaron is forced to choose between her boss and her father due to Frank's inability to control his emotions. Best, Frank gives Inspector Clifford a second chance, Season 9, Episode 15. The lesson from Blue Bloods is that a troubled history may not always be what it seems. Frank discovers that a key player on his squad might not be all he seems to be in the Season 9 episode, Blues. Inspector Andre Clifford, Robert Ray Wisdom, was arrested when he was 15 for robbing a liquor store. Still, the repercussions didn't become apparent until until he became 18. Frank contests the allegations, stating that he is an excellent cop who consistently produces quality work. Ultimately, his hesitation pays off, as they can solve the problem through excellent communication. Worst, Frank's Romance with Whitney, Season 3, Episode 17. A couple's age gap is always a hot topic, but in the case of Frank and Whitney Robeshaw, Sarah Winter, there's nothing to smile about. We see Frank debating whether to pursue an acquaintance of Aaron's in the Season 3 episode protest too much. Frank wants to find happiness and a spark of romance because he's been a widower for a long time, but going for someone his daughter's age is probably not the most excellent course of action. Regardless of their immediate chemistry, Frank is fully aware of this when the two first meet. Frank is really trapped in it once they are pictured together. Best, Frank learns to apologize. Season 6, Episode 3 Frank is a man who, as we've seen in numerous Blue Bloods episodes, constantly follows his own convictions. That is why it is such a shock to watch him let loose in all the news that's fit to click, an episode from Season 6. Frank's squad handles the aftermath after Jamie and Eddie handle the shooting of a news reporter inside a police vehicle. Frank and Garrett are quick to butt heads on taking things, as only two massive fish in a tiny pond could, so it shouldn't be much of a surprise. The tension between the two had been building since Season 5, and this preventable incident provided the ideal opportunity for it to blow up, as viewers will be aware. Worst, Frank loses passion for his job, Season 6, Episode 14. You can always expect a case involving Frank to be explosive. Frank's trip in the Season 6 episode, The Road to Hell, feels off-color because he is usually at the center of gory murders and spectacular high-speed shifts. Frank learns that his local church's donation box has been burglarized as the event unfolds. Frank finds out from Father Quinn that the priest is willing to help those in need and is probably hiding more information than he already knows. 
On the surface, it appears unremarkable, but that could be how it's designed to be. The episode shows that Frank no longer has the same enthusiasm for his work, which has always been a defining characteristic of his persona. Best. Frank supports Abigail in her recovery. Season 11, Episode 12. Frank is the person you want by your side when he is at his best. Abigail Baker returns to work after being jumped on the street in Season 11's Happy Endings, demonstrating that he has his head screwed on. She returns to the office shaken, and Frank immediately instructs her to go. Frank's instincts serve his reputation well, whether by prioritizing his professional merit or demonstrating genuine emotional compassion. Abigail has a deep-seated need to establish her abilities as a detective, especially because Garrett and Lieutenant Sidney Gormley think she is not in good health. Worse, Frank hooks up with Melanie Maines, Season 2, Episode 16. Even in the best circumstances, dating can be challenging. It's always exciting when former lovers make a comeback on television. Still, Frank's luck runs out in the Season 2 episode, Women with Guns. He encounters Margaret Collins reporter Melanie Maines, with whom it is implied that Frank has had prior liaisons. A mysterious man strikes the town again, attacking Melanie with acid. It demonstrates that Frank can never wholly relax his guard, even when his choices don't work out for him. While it seems strange to observe, like watching your father go on a date, there is no problem with his friends with benefits arrangement. Best. Frank brings the Blue Templar to justice. Season 1, Episode 22. Most of the Reagan family considered the destruction of the fraternal organization, the Blue Templar, in Season 1 to be a high point and a demonstration of Frank's effectiveness. The family's quest to identify Joe's killer came to a head in the series finale episode, The Blue Templar. The attack, an emotional roller coaster from beginning to end, gives fans and Frank the resolution they have been seeking. It's comforting to see Frank receive something he actually deserves after a trying season, allowing him to turn his attention back to his family. Worst, Frank loses Joe, Season 1, Episode 1. Frank's worst moment is before Blue Bloods even begins. We discover the factors that make the Reagans the rigidly structured and dysfunctional family they are in the series' first episode. Frank mostly copes with being a widow and Joe, his adored son, passing away. Joe, a former police officer himself, was assassinated while acting as a cover one year before the show's start. Here, we connect to the legendary group The Blue Templar, which forms the core of Frank's Season 1 narrative. Every choice Frank makes is an effort to bring them down, and it is evident that grief is what motivates him. Best, Frank's graduation speech, Season 4, Episode 22. If there is one thing that Blue Bloods is known for, it is the iconic family dinner scenes that appear in each episode. When Frank inquires if he might practice his graduation speech in front of the family, it goes one step further. He calls them the best in the world and says it is a huge honor and joy to work with the younger generation. Frank's attitude of dominance serves him well in this situation because he can welcome and integrate his serving officers by leveraging the prestige of the graduation ceremony. Worst, Frank harasses the public. Season 9, Episode 9. To witness how obnoxious some individuals can be, you must switch on a news station or browse the internet. While Frank often handles minor setbacks without incident, there are a few rare occasions when he goes too far. In the ninth season episode, Handcuffs, Jamie and Eddie decide against apprehending a group of protesters who are upsetting the peace in a nearby apartment building. They agree that the best course of action is to ignore them, but Frank disagrees immediately. He directs a raid on the complex using force, bringing in heavy equipment. This concludes our list of Frank Reagan's seven best and seven worst moments from Blue Bloods. Blue Bloods holds the audience's attention as it balances family drama and police procedural. Have you watched Blue Bloods yet? Who is your favorite character from Blue Bloods? Make sure to tell us your thoughts in the comments section below, and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more content just like this.